YouTube, Barcode here. Today I'm bringing you another Dungeon Hunter Champions video. This video is going to be mainly about 5 vs 5. Uh, with all the controversies and uh, issues with 5 vs 5, I want to bring a video on it and my opinions on that. 5 vs 5 is one of the most intricate things about this game that separates it from any other type of gotcha type genre like that this is game uh, you have the potential game loft to make this one of the best games if not already out there uh, besides all of the other connectivity issues and, and lag and other things the fivers five is just a unique area that you included in the game that is amazing um, now there is some tweaking that needs to be made however uh, and this video is going to be towards that if you haven't already please like and subscribe my videos uh, i'm going to be able to start using twitch in the future um, and i am only going to start when either co-op or guild wars come out whatever is first probably co-op so make sure to go over to bald barcode on twitch and you can find me there follow so when i start streaming you can already be there so let's get the first thing i want to talk about in five vs five is actually joining the game making a team for it etc and the bots that come with it um, now unfortunately in my opinion now game off have kind of uh, they can bring data and show us how much player base there is in fibers 5 but you don't have enough player base in fibers 5 to make it um, without bots um, if you remove them completely uh, the wait time will be a little bit longer but I think with most people I think they wouldn't mind waiting longer instead of having these bots because bots are just cancer um, and if depending on the team makeups if there's five four or three um, and you get matched up with someone else that has more bots than the other or you have more bots than them it's just a complete and utter downfall for your team or theirs uh, so I would say either eliminate all bots or in which way you would have to make the wait time longer obviously to match make but uh, or if there is bots make it so the wait time uh, has equal amount of bots and equal amount of players that's the only way you can actually uh, stop the issues and the opinionated people on saying how much the fivers five is trash um, that game off if you don't have the player base to be able to remove bots then you obviously have to do something about it because this is the one feature five vs five which makes this game unique one way to do that is changing the reward system just a little bit and i will explain that here the reward system for this game uh for five vs five this is fine this current ranking system okay because this is just a bonus at the end the gems and a light and dark monster for the top uh 300 people that play verse five vs five they either get a latin uh, night a uh, light or dark nat 3 or nat 4 which is good because the we don't get an excessive amount of light and dark discs to be able to summon as many as we can so I get that that's okay um, and in game if you 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 can get uh, light and dark shard discs for winning which is great um, and also um, PvP tokens that you can use in the PvP store uh, my opinion would to ch revamp that system not this specifically but the reward system per game and per win I think whether you win or lose I think you should get a certain amount of gold for your time spent in here as well um, because gold is by all means the most important thing in this game in my opinion from leveling up gear promoting training etc uh, gold is pretty valuable in this game so even with the 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 win you should get gold um, you should get some individual maybe five versus five points for a five versus five shop which could if you didn't want the gear to drop in a win or a loss you could uh, make a shop that has six star gear um, of any set randomized substats um, once you open it, you can, it, the stats will be random in your inbox or whatever the case may be. Um, but according to however many 5 vs 5 
points that you have accumulated over the week. I think only one per week of each set should be obtainable, so it's not too OP, but it's able to be done. Also, because the player base is pretty much non-existent, I mean it's existent, but not as much as you would like it and other players would like it, I would recommend doing two different reward systems per game, including this weekly reward. I would say a, a, a win reward system, and then also just a games played reward system. Now hear me out first, okay? For wins, I think you should keep it to be something like it is now, light and dark shards, um, maybe an EXP boost on, you know, 10 games, one, or something like that, and then on 15 games, one, maybe a four-star evolve, or something like that. Um, now, for games played, which is your main problem, your main problem is not people winning games, it's actually just playing the game. Uh, I would actually do a 5, 10, 15 games played per week reward system along with everything else to get people to have the incentive to play for I first five once they start playing it and they either enjoy it or not um, if they enjoy it they're gonna be even playing more and more over time the ones that don't enjoy it are still going to play these 10 15 games to get these rewards because they need to be uh, substantial rewards to actually and incentive rewards to actually do five versus five um, so for games played I would recommend doing like for five games played do a 12 hour XP buff uh, for 10 games played do a, another four star evolve bun so that would make if you did it per week you would have a four star every week so four four stars a month five if it's a long month for five weeks um, but then again that would be if you just did five versus five that would be six starring a champion once a month 12 six stars in a year that's not too excessive okay um, and then for 15 games played I would actually do a tutor puff um, this is going to be a great incentive for people to actually play five versus five because the amount of skills that champions have in this game uh, are much more than other type of games like this um, and one tutor puff from the store uh, one tutor puff per month uh, depending on your difficulties maybe two um, in blitz is just not enough um, to max out one champion in a significant amount of time so adding a tutor puff for maybe 15 games played um, either per week or per month whatever you think um, because that's just in my opinion you are the ones that actually would choose the end game of it but um, adding a tutor puff would make more people want to play another great thing that would be added for 5 vs 5 is actually adding a little tab at the bottom of the chat for just mainly 5 vs 5 players that want to do 5 vs 5 can go into this tab talk about 5 vs 5 look for players for teams for you know 5 player teams 3 player teams just Whoever they can gather and or just to see how many people are actually playing five versus five during a s certain amount of time no one ever knows um, who's all playing at what time or whatever the case may be um, putting five versus five and maybe putting like a account like a, a queue or a counter of however many people are in that chat um, to show the possibility or the mindset of who's playing five versus five show however many people are actually in queue currently so that if there's a bunch of people in queue you just go to five versus five click start and you know approximately how many people are in queue um, so many different options that you do with this five versus five tab uh, for chat uh, that would improve the quality of getting into a team or playing five versus five the rankings, I would actually say that it needs to be revamped just a little bit. I know you were getting rid of the minimum uh, required 12 trophies that are needed, uh, which is a good thing. Um, I feel like you need to focus more on ranking individuals instead of actually team win and losses. Um, I feel like wins should actually be more rating for someone uh, other over in a loss, okay? Um, because there, there's a lot of times where 
currently where there's a discussion about people losing on purpose going afk feeding trolling whatever the case may be um, i don't think that should negatively affect someone else on their on your team that has to deal with something like that so not only that changing the revamp of the ranking system you definitely need to add along all lines of this game is just a report system um a whatever you know just report someone for being afk for trolling whatever the case may be now this needs to be monitored extremely okay because there will be people in past games that i have played um, not just this five vs five game i mean just mobas in general people will report someone just because they're dying okay and they'll say oh you're a troll you're feeding whatever that person could just be horrible at this game and they don't know how to five vs five they don't know the mechanics of a a, a, a typical MOBA um, they could just be bad and they need to improve and they're playing the five vs five game to improve if someone reports someone definitely needs to be investigated but if you want this game to shine and to move on with the future, especially with this Fiverr 5 uh, product, you definitely need to add this. Uh, this is definitely a big problem and it should be changed. Another thing about this game in Fiverr 5, definitely want to make sure that you signify who is bots and who is not um, on that loading screen or here as well. I also feel like you need to eliminate the idea of having duplicates in this game um, now for example I could bring like another Firefox and there's another Firefox I think you should uh, be able to not bling, bring duplicates everyone has to have their each individual t uh, champion that they bring I also feel like uh, they don't need to and it's just it's just OP when you bring like two water divas or whatever the case may be um, but it definitely should be advertised here if there is bots who is a bot and who is not I also feel that there should be some kind of loading screen besides this once everyone gets into the game and are waiting for other players to get into the game um, I would definitely start this game and I'm already halfway down the lane uh, which is not cool at all um, but for that reason, I mean, it, sh it should definitely be, um, it, it definitely doesn't need to happen where you're just lagging out, um, without any repercussion. I mean, it's, it doesn't make sense that, um, it doesn't make sense that you have to load in and you're half, like quarter health. Uh, it, it just doesn't make sense. Um, now with the with the map and the gameplay of it, I, I feel like there needs to be a little bit more team comp um, team comp fights uh, instead of just rushing. Um, and what I mean by that is just they, either the map needs to be smaller, there needs to be more jungle play, there needs to be something in in terms of uh, team play. Uh, if that is if that is either making the map smaller, uh, making the jungle smaller, adding some buffs to it, um, to the jungle, I mean, uh, which there are some buffs, but there, you know, maybe some speed, attack, you know, movement speed, attack speed, uh, attack buff, whatever the case may be, um, something in, in terms of just making the jungle profitable. There's, there's nothing that... Um, makes it so that oops I missed there's nothing that makes the jungle valuable besides ganking Since there's no gear or anything like that uh, I feel like you know with kills gold etc I feel like making it like maybe add like lane power-ups or something like that um, if your if your lane is doing horrible you can go back to base with a certain amount of gold that you've gotten and uh, increase the uh, minion damage or increased tower damage just so you have some kind of defensive safe mode towards it um, oh that was your fault why'd you do that you done yep um, not doing that bad this game huh but definitely feel like uh, some lane power-ups or something like that um, I think that would pretty be pretty uh, beneficial um, 
and it wouldn't hurt the game too much. It'd actually just make it a little bit longer. Um, but I feel like it'd be a, a great thing to do. Now, obviously, um, we win the game. Uh, I feel like I rushed the towers and killed the towers very quickly early game. Uh, and I feel like the problem with that is is the tower damage doesn't do the towers don't do much damage in the beginning of the game. Minions can literally tank them early in the game and you can just take down a tower quickly if you're not even touched. Um, these are the rewards that I would feel like need to be uh, implemented and revamped. These are great, like uh, just victory rewards. I think it should be a next page after you press continue for game played rewards like I was speaking of before. I feel like it would give much more incentive to people uh, playing the game uh, and to play the game for those incentives. A couple of things that I forgot to mention while I was 5 vs 5 and because I was all focused and tearing stuff up. Um, one thing I wanted to kind of implement was um, if you don't want to increase the tower damage or uh, you know whatever I was speaking of revamping the type of 5 vs 5, the map, the towers, etc. I feel like you could actually implement something with skills. So when you start a 5 vs 5 game, you literally have all skills available. If you've played other MOBAs, you'll know that every time you level up, you'll be able to add points to a skill to maximize you know the damage to that skill you have to pick or choose you start out with one skill um, in the beginning and that would make things a little bit more complicated to the uh, to the players um, and make it so that you can't just rush towers and win in two minutes um, two minute games are probably preferred to most because it's five versus five and all they're trying to do is hurry up get wins and just rank up as quack fist as rank up as fast as possible so adding like something like level one you can only select one of these skills uh, one two or three and having you know four levels on each of them or whatever the case may be it, um, to level up or even maybe two skill points or whatever the case may be each level um, so that you can level up your skills okay if there's a basic skill um, and then there's a second, third, and fourth, so four skills, um, max level 20, so that would be a, a, a point every level, okay? And then it would be five levels for each skill. Um, and then, you know, every time you put a skill point, a level up skill point into a skill, it increases damage or it adds a, a, an extra feature or whatever the case may be, but I feel like that would implement things and make games a little bit more intriguing and more strategized. I mean, if you're mid solo or whatever the case may be, uh, you're not going to start off with Kalda with her heal. You're going to want the silencing bolt to do some damage, and then you might go with the heal, and then. Uh, maybe the second skill here again uh, and then on the fifth skill maybe do her ultimate or whatever the case may be but I feel like that would actually make things a little bit more intriguing to the players that's all the time I have today for this 5 vs 5 video uh, please comment below any criticism any comments that you feel like would improve the 5 vs 5 game um, so we can get this the game off hopefully they can look over this see from a player's perspective how we feel I know we communicate high on reddit um, this BR is a bug for sure must be a Windows PC thing cuz on my phone it's like 120 or something like that anyway um, just I thought I'd mention that cuz I just saw it anyway so just comment down below and tell me what you feel and what you think uh, I'll talk to you later in the next video peace